This is either going to be really good or really bad. Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Vampire Tools 7 inch screw extraction pliers. Also, I got a pair of Knipex or Nipex tools twin grip pliers. And the reason why I got these here is because when I did the review on these, uh, I got a lot of comments about saying that they're just a copy or a ripoff of the Vampire pliers. So I wanted to pick up a set of the Vampire pliers and check them out and compare the two side by side and, you know, see the differences and see which one's better. So I don't actually know who came out with the pliers first. I'm just going to check them out side by side. That way you guys can decide which pair of the pliers are best for you. There will be links for them both in the description of the video. That way if you like either one of these pairs of pliers, you can find those links there. So let's get started by busting these out of the pack. Now both of these pliers are what they call screw extraction pliers. They're designed to, to take off rounded off screws. I got a little display here. Um, what they're designed to do. Both pliers are designed to do the same thing you see on the package here. The type of screws. Well, what they're referring to is you know Allen screws or stripped out screws, different screws that you would uh, run across you know working on cars on a day to day basis. So we'll use this uh, test block here or a little example block here to, to uh, demonstrate both of them. So the part numbers on the uh, the Vampire tool is going to be the the VT 17 SJ. And on the Knipex uh, pliers, the twin grip pliers, they're going to be the 820200. If you're interested in the part numbers. All right, so we got the two pairs of pliers, you know, side by side. As you can see, the twin grip is a little bit bigger. So the Vampire screw extraction pliers are seven inches in diameter. Uh, this looks to be about an inch and a half, two inches uh, longer, so about nine inches in diameter. Uh, the Vampire pliers are made in Japan. The Knipex pliers are made in Germany. Vampire pliers are slip joint, so they just have the little slip joint that you would operate to make it bigger or smaller. And they also have very unique uh, knurling, or what you, I guess that's what you would call it on the uh, teeth here. So I guess re one of the reasons why they call them vampires is the way that the teeth, it kind of looks like vampire teeth on the front here. Uh, the Knipex it's a similar design, a little bit wider, uh, a little bit more closer to like uh, a duckbill needle nose plier, a little bit wider as you can see here on the tip. So the advantage of these is you're going to get into smaller places than the uh, Knipex. The, also the Knipex is not just a slip joint, it's a push button slip joint and it opens up a little bit wider than the, uh, the Vampires. So you can see the difference here. So these are a little bit different than normal pliers where the normal pliers are made to, to grip like this, which these do very well as well. So you can loosen or tighten fasteners like this. So where these come in handy or are specialized is using just the tip here. And uh, so you can either tighten or loosen those rounded fasteners. So, so I'll, I'll tighten this up here as tight as I can get it. Get the slip jaw here, Oops, slip it here. So I'll tighten it up as tight as I can get it like that. Now I'll see if I can loosen it with just the tip. So, and it gripped it like pretty awesome. Like seriously, seriously tight grip. Like you can barely turn the plier side to side. You can see the scarring it's leaving on the, uh, on the tubing here. Now, the Knipex ones are supposed to be the same thing. So we'll tighten that one back up. Tighten it back up. So I can probably get a little bit more. Yeah, I can definitely get a little bit more clamping power on that. Now, like no problem with that. Same thing. Let me get it at the lowest setting here. Uh, you can't you can't turn it. The grip is about the same. I would say that's a little bit stronger with the uh, Knipex, and that's probably because of the reach on the handle here. Now, one of the uh, I, I guess I would say the advantage that the uh, Vampire pliers have is they have a little bit less likely to pinch your finger if you were to if you were on a fastener and you were to slip and it would grip. Especially if you're holding it back at the back, um, 
Nip, Nipex does or Knipex does a really good job of it as well. But if your hand is up a little tighter, there is the possibility of pinching your hands here. Now the slip joint portion of it, uh, definitely I would take the advantage towards the uh, Knipex. It's, it's got a little bit more control. And uh, having it open up a little bit wider allows you to get to the bigger fasteners. So big fasteners like this is pretty... Uh, pretty big advantage for the connect let's see we'll put this on the larger section and as you can see here it barely fits on there let's see if it will get on here it does fit on here this is about a about a 9 16 or that's probably about a 5 8 yeah it's a 5 8 bolt so this, this is a it's already rounded out but we'll see if there's the tip it got it free but it was easier on my wrist, and, and I was able to put more torque with the Knipex pliers. All right, so in my rafter here, I screwed in a screw here. It's almost flush. It's not quite flush. I'm going to use a twin grip, grab it right here, and literally see if I can hang from it just holding the pliers and the tip and the tip. So I'll do the same thing with this, and I'll switch over to the Knipex and just see if, if the grip is strong enough for me to hang by the pliers, just like that. So first up, it's going to be the vampire pliers. I'm going to hang from that screw. We'll see if this works out good. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the... I think I'm going to put it in the bigger selection. Let's see what would be the best gripping position. I think that's going to be the best one. So I'm going to see if I can hang from that. This is either going to be really good or really bad. So as you see, I was able to do it. Pretty strong grip. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the Knipex to see if I can hang from it as well. Got to figure out which one's the best setting for it though. Let's see. I think I'm going to put it just a little, like on the second little notch here. Now I had to grip the crap out of that. Um, let's see if the, with the little slightly longer handles will this... Uh, work a little better I think it will but let's see it feels better already like the stronger let's see here we go uh, I think the uh, Knipex won that challenge both of them successfully did it but I had I was a little bit easier on my hand to grip it you know without slipping so both of these pliers run roughly within a dollar or two of each other in price. They're just slightly under $40. I believe I paid uh, $37 for the uh, vampires. And these Knipex sent it to me, but I looked online and um, they were running about $36 or about $36 to $38 as well online. So they're com very compar comparable in price. So Knipex has a lifetime warranty on theirs, and the Vampires have a four-year warranty on it against, you know, defects or anything like that. So, uh, advantage would go to the Knipex, especially at the price. You've got lifetime warranty versus uh, uh, a four-year warranty. But judging by the way these feel, the way the grip feels, the, the way they, the steel, it feels like a super quality tool. It doesn't feel cheap in any way, shape, or form. Uh, same thing with the uh, Knipex or Nipex uh, pliers here. They feel, you know, you can just feel the quality. Uh, the weight is roughly a little bit heavier with the Knipex, but it is slightly bigger. Like I said, if you like either one of these pairs, I will have links to them down in the description of the video. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and encourage you to subscribe. That wasn't smooth.